Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about chinchilla treats, like the different types, which ones are best. Um, so in terms of treats, they are food that can be ingested, not chew toys. Make sure to watch the video to the end if you want to see an easy DIY treat toy that you can make at home. Before I start, I just wanted to say that although treats are a great way to build a bond with your chinchilla, it is optional whether you feed your chinchilla treats, and that decision is entirely up to you. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notifications. I upload every Sunday. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So I'm going to start off by talking about dried rose hips. So rose hips are these little fruits and when they dry they become hardened. These are one of my favourite treats to give Pandora because she loves them so much and they're also quite healthy if you don't give them too much. So the reason why they are so good is because they are low in sugar but high in vitamin C. And as you can see the ones I have here are the crushed rose hips. I prefer crushed ones because the whole rose hips they have thorns inside and I don't really want Pandora to be near any thorns so yeah I think these are the best option. Um, the next thing I recommend is dried fruits. So what I have here are dried papaya. So, so this is what they look like. They're basically little cubes of dried papaya. Um, you do not want to give these very often. I suggest at most once a week. So they do contain a lot of sugar, but my chinchilla loves them. I just don't give them to her that often. But I'll give one to her now because she hasn't had one of these in quite a while. So as you can see, she loves them so much. So the next treat I have on my list is hay cubes. So what hay cubes are, they're basically hardened cubes of Timothy hay that are very good for the teeth because they really like to chew on these blocks. Okay, I'll take one out and I'll show you what they look like. So this is basically what one block looks like. It's, it's quite hard, I can't squash it or anything. Um, I wouldn't say these are, you have to limit how many you give them, just you can put as many of these in the cage as you want. So. She loves these too. It's very cute. So next is Cheerios. If you're in America, you probably know what these are. They're basically breakfast cereal that you can put in milk. Now you can give these to your chinchillas. Just make sure that it's the original one so there's no like extra stuff like honey or other sweeteners added in. Otherwise it's very harmful for them. So they don't look like this. I've crushed these to make them smaller. I would suggest you give at the most one of these per day because again it's not the healthiest treat you could give. So the reason I crush mine is so I could give more of these a day because I love watching Pandora eat these treats so I will crush them. I'll give her a very small one. What are you doing? So the next two I personally have not tried myself, but I've heard from other people that these are treats you can also give. So the first one is oatmeal. They're pretty similar to Cheerios and you can use them to make your own treats. I'm pretty sure some people have made them into apple and oat cookie things. So the other one is bee pollen. Again, I've never tried this myself. They are very rich in vitamins, but be careful when offering this treat because you have to make sure that your chinchilla is used to eating bee pollen. So before we jump into making the DIY treat toy, I want to talk about some things you should be aware of when giving treats. First of all, only feed dry treats. You don't want to give your chinchilla any treats that have water content in them or it will really mess with their digestive system. Also make sure if you're giving dried fruits, it's best to not have any skin on the fruit but if you're giving like dried apple rings, make sure there are no preservatives on the skin. Finally, I would suggest you be aware of the treats in the pet store because even though a lot of them say they're for chinchillas, they are not safe for chinchillas. So as I promised, I'll be showing you how to make some 
toys made out of treats. So as you can see, these Cheerios are not round anymore. You can take however long a piece of thread you want, depending how big of a toy you want and how much stuff you want to put on that toy. And we won't be needing this anymore. So you can basically put like chew toys and treats on this thread. Whatever you want to put on here is your choice. So as you can see, they're kind of round, so you can just thread them on like beads on a bracelet. It's it's pretty fun. So I'm just going to speed this video up and I'll see you when I'm done. So we are done. This is kind of a small treat toy. You can make yours much bigger than this. In fact, I have made a video showing you how to make a lot of chinchilla toys at home. Anyway, from this point, you can do two things. I am tying this together. So this becomes a toss toy. So Pandora can just toss it around everywhere. Or you can choose to hang it in the cage so it dangles down from somewhere. So she can reach up and grab the toy. It's very cute. Oh, she's interested. She's very interested in this toy. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. If you found anything interesting or if you learned something, let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching until the very end and I will see you next week. Bye!